guys. So today's video is going to be kind of a first impressions, a lip swatch video, and just a review overall on the new Ciate Glitter Flip Transforming Glitter Liquid Lipstick. I was actually going to film a completely different video today, but quick little story. Around 1 a.m. on Sunday, technically Monday, I woke up with the worst stomach ache ever. And I threw up, and I did other things besides throw up, if you catch my drift. And it didn't stop all night, so I went to the urgent care, and I had food poisoning. I ate something the day before, and it just destroyed my stomach. So I was feeling like poop all day yesterday, and today when I woke up, I still felt a little bit But I started feeling a little better, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to film that glitter flip video, because I'm just so intrigued by this. You probably have already seen a few videos on this, so I'm sorry if this video is like, oh my god, another glitter flip video, but these look so cool and from what I've seen online they do seem to work but I want to try it out for myself so let me explain these are like a matte liquid lipstick but they're like a metallic matte liquid lipstick and then supposedly you wait two minutes for them to completely dry and then you press your lips together and then that activates all the glitter and the more you press your lips together the more glitter shows so if you just wanted to wear this as a metallic matte liquid lipstick you wouldn't press your lips together and then it wouldn't get glittery but this would be so cool for like festivals or fun parties to just have fun glittery lips or like holiday parties I don't know this could be really exciting. It says you can get a multi-dimensional glitter lip with none of the mess and in under half the time of a traditional glitter lip look. It's supposed to be long wearing and comfortable. I'm not sure how well I will test the long wear part since it is almost 7 o'clock at 6.50 p.m. I would, like I said, I wasn't going to film today. But I won't wash my face or go to bed till around 11 because I have to go eat something and then edit this video, so I'll be up for a while. So I will leave in the description box how it wore for like four hours. It also says it's non-drying. So like I said, you're just supposed to apply this, wait for it to dry for two full minutes, and then press your lips together and watch it transform before your eyes. So let me take off my lip gloss. I'm wearing the I Love Sarai and ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Curvy. I love it. And okay, let's zoom you in. Okay, so I'm gonna do lip swatches of all seven shades. I did purchase all seven of these myself when I saw everyone's video on it. I got so excited, I went on Sephora and I bought all of them. And we're gonna watch all of them transform because I actually haven't seen a couple of these swatched. Like, I don't know what the red one looks like. I'm like genuinely so excited for these. I don't know why, I'm a five-year-old. But this is what the packaging looks like. Really, really pretty and yeah, it has like stars and glittery stuff. So this is the color candy and it's the lightest shade, so. Let's try this on. Oh my god, I don't want to press my lips together. <laughs> okay, so I know they're supposed to be metallic, but this one is not too metallic. I thought it was going to be a little more intense, but I actually like this. I feel like it makes this one just a little bit more wearable. So I'm going to let that dry for two full minutes. I'm not going to press my lips together. And then I'll come back and we will see it transform. <laughs> Okay, so it's been two full minutes. I want to show you guys what it looks like before I press my lips together because you can kind of see the little glitters peeking through and I just want to show you how it looks on the lips. So I don't know if you can tell, but it does look just a little bit drying. All right, so let's see. Oh. Oh my gosh. This is pretty freaking epic. This is incredible. You know, I keep pressing my lips together and it's not disrupting the liquid lipstick at all. My major worry with this product is that you would press your lips together so many times and it would eventually take off your liquid lipstick. Like you would just peel it off like, and it would just peel off, but it's not doing that. It looks so cool. And let me tell you, it looks cooler in person than it does on my viewfinder. I mean, I'm probably the only YouTuber in the world that still films just using a viewfinder and not a monitor. <laughs> I'm so bad with technology, but it looks so cool in person. All right, so that was candy, and I'm like so excited. These are so freaking cool. And now let's try on all the other shades. Okay, so next up we have Infamous. It's this guy right here. This one is so beautiful. I really, really like this one. The longer it dries, the more the little glitter particles start to appear. But this one doesn't look so metallic either. This one looks pretty wearable. I feel like you can totally wear this one out and not have people look at you like, girl, you have metallic lipstick on. I really, really like this one a lot. So I'm going to wait those two full minutes and, well, you know, I'm not going to say this every time for every liquid lipstick. By the way, excuse the swatches in this video. These lip swatches are going to be pretty sloppy. I just feel it. Especially the darker we go. I just feel it. Oh 
Oh, I love this one. Oh my gosh, I did not expect that color. I thought it was gonna be like pinky shimmers and this is almost like a purple silvery amethyst. Definitely not something I would wear out on a daily basis, but for certain occasions, this could be so cool. Way to go, Ciate. I would have never come up with something like this. So that was infamous. This next one is called Forbidden and it's a dark red. Ooh, that's actually a lot barrier than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, uh, these little swatches are awful. I'm sorry. This one's actually a little hard to apply. Okay, so this one didn't apply the best. You'll see when I zoom in the application. No bueno, I suck. But besides that, it did apply just a little bit patchy. I had to go over certain sections a few times to try to make it even. Aside from that, I do really like this color. This one does look a little bit more metallic than the other two, but again, not a metallic that's extremely unwearable. This is definitely a color I would wear, but I would personally wear a darker lip liner underneath or just something to really even things out because the application was just a little patchy. By the way, as I was waiting for this to dry, I noticed I didn't do a kiss test for you. They don't transfer. Ooh, this is what this one looks like. I would have liked a different kind of shift. I would have liked a different glitter, but that's just me being really weird. But yeah, this one is really nice, but it's not my favorite. Next up, we have Siren. I'm so excited for this one. This one is like a beautiful mermaid color. This would be so cool to wear like on your lips for Halloween, if you're gonna be a mermaid. I don't know, let's see. This one is so cool. Aside from the fact that I applied this like an amateur, it is so fun. This one is definitely metallic, but I love how it looks just like this. It's so cool and unique. Like, wow, I'm really, I'm really liking this one. It does get on my teeth a little bit, but it's so fun. This would look amazing with like some intense winged eyeliner. I like this, I like the siren, I like the siren. Ooh, ooh. So, 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 so cool. I did notice that it had taken off a little bit of the liquid lipstick when I first put my lips together, but it's nothing that's too noticeable. It was right here. Nothing too crazy. But I think this one is so cool and such a unique lip color. It's probably my favorite so far. Okay, so next up is the color I was most excited for when I went to purchase these. This one's called Hollywood, and it's the... Beautiful holiday Christmas red. So this one has pinky little glitters in it. You can see it has kind of like a pinky little metallic shift. I think it's so pretty though. It looks so cool for a holiday party. I really like this one. Let's see how glittery. Ooh, I love it. This one does transfer a bit though. You can kind of see it like transferred a little bit onto the top. Yeah, like this one does transfer just slightly, but nothing too crazy. It looks so cool with the flash on. So besides this one transferring, I really, really, really like this one. Next up is Fortune and this one is a dark, dark purple, and it looks like it has little blue and purple glitters. This one is so fun. It reminds me of Halloween. It's like witchy, like, ah, I love it. It reminds me of Anastasia Potion. Does Potion look like this? I think it, a little bit. I love it. You can see it's a little bit metallic, but it's not like frosty. That's what I really like about these. They're metallic, but not like, whoa, metallic. You know, I really like them. The only thing I don't like, I've noticed this with every single color, is little specks will just stay on my teeth, and that is starting to really piss me off. Maybe I'm just applying it like too close inside, or I don't know. See? Like... Oh my gooch, I love it. This one is so intense. Oh my gosh, I love this one. And it wasn't patchy going on the way Forbidden was patchy. This one went on really smooth. This one actually might be my new favorite. Like, look at that sparkle. 
and really no transfer. All right, this one is called Iconic, and this one looks similar to Fortune, but it's a bit deeper. It kind of looks like a blue instead of a purple. This one has like blue sparkles in it, and I think it has like a navy blue base. All right, this one is cool. Yeah, it looks absolutely nothing like this one, but it is so cool. I love navy blue. It's one of my favorite colors, and this just looks so intense and cool. And it does have a little bit of a metallic shift, but you don't really see the glitters too much when it's on its own. I think it looks pretty good. I don't know, I really like this one too. It's so vampy. I really like this one. I really like it. <gasps> I'm 12. Ooh, this one is super intense, even more intense than the other one. Oh my gosh, the last two are definitely my favorites. They're just so unique. This one looks so gorgeous, so intense. Wow, so much glitter, so much blue glitter, I love it. Okay guys, so that completes this video. These are my thoughts on the new Glitter Flip Metallic Liquid Lipsticks by Ciate. There was only a couple of cons. I would say the major one is that some of these little things get into my teeth, but they don't really feel drying. They do look a little drying on my lips, but I have very dry lips right now. But they do feel really comfortable. I'm gonna continue to wear this one for the rest of the night, and then I will leave a little update in the info box. But so far, so good. Obviously, these are not extremely wearable for every day, but I think they're innovative and they're really unique and fun. Hey guys, leave me a comment down below letting me know if you have picked these up recently from Sephora. What do you think of these? I would love to know. But that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Terrible. Palic matte lips. I look so stupid. That maybe we'd like to come back in and look at the painting again. I, I think maybe we are interested in buying it. This would look amazing with like some intense wing. This would look amazing with like some intense wing light.